Hello and praise the Lord. Good afternoon. My name is Helen Mwoni and by the grace of God I serve here at Sitam Thika Town as one of the pastors. I'm delighted to uh, bring you devotion today again. Uh, you will remember that uh, we are journeying through a series and the series we've been journeying through is When Heaven Seems Silent. In our last sharing, uh, we said in such times when we cannot, you know, trust the hand of God and trust His move, you know, in a certain season in our lives, at least we can trust His heart that says that He is our shepherd and that He's shepherding us. So today we'll be considering another aspect that can just help us walk through such seasons when we feel like uh, we are not able to, uh, things are grey, there's something we can do. We can at least trust in God's faithfulness. We will be considering the book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10 and verse 11. I will read Isaiah 55, 10 and 11. The Bible says, as the rain and snow comes from comes down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out of my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I send it. And all of us are witnesses of what rain has done to us recently. You look around, God allowed rain of blessing to pour on our land and people are going for a bountiful harvest because of rain that was sent and accomplished the purpose as to why it was sent. And the word of God uses that analogy when it comes to the faithfulness of God. Uh, that whatever time God releases his word, he watches it so that it accomplishes the purpose as to why he sent it. So the same way rain comes, the same way snow comes and does not fail to nourish the earth and make it give forth uh, fruits, the same way to the word of God. When the word of God is released, the word of God comes to give us the richness of life. It comes to give us fulfillment. It comes to give us satisfaction. It comes to serve the purpose as to which God has sent it. Could be you're in a season where you've been unwell and you've waited God on healing and you've prayed, you've, you've gone through treatments and you're still waiting. The Bible uh, says that God is God of all flesh and there is nothing that is too hard for him. Claim that promise, hold on to it. It doesn't matter how long that will take. It doesn't matter how long you will battle that ailment. As long as you know what the word of God has spoken and as long as you have claimed that promise, it will come to pass. When time comes, God will accomplish that. Is it finances that you've been struggling with? You're not making miles. You're so stuck. Years have passed. You see your peers doing so well and, you, and you're still there and wondering what is happening. Hold on to the promise of God that says gold and silver belongs to me and he will come through for you. Is it your marriage? Is it a fruit of the womb you're waiting on? Is it a business that you're waiting, you know, to see it nourish and get established? trust and claim in the promises of God and is faithful to bring to pass that which he has said. The Bible says that God desires us to prosper in all ways, in all aspects, in all things. And so because it is the will of God for us to prosper in all ways, hold on to that promise, cling on to that promise. God is faithful. At least he can be relied. Remember the story of Abraham. Abraham and Sarah for a hundred years, 90 years, Sarah when she was past the age of bearing a child 
God gave her a child against the reality of what was happening in her body system. God gave her a child. You know, one beautiful thing with the, uh, with the faithfulness of God is that God is able to do that which he has said he will do because one, he has all the power that he needs to do that which he has said he will do. Again, he has all the resources, he has all the materials, he has all the richness that he needs to do that which he has said he will do. So it doesn't matter what the reality looks like. It doesn't matter how long you have waited. It doesn't matter how many years you've just gazed your eyes upon the Lord. Keep trusting in him. Claim his promises that are found in his word and you will see the faithfulness of God uh, fulfilled in your life. At least our God can be trusted. He can be relied on. He said that he's not man that he will change his mind and he does not deny himself. So that which he has said he will do, trust that he will do. In that situation that is dark, in that situation that is discouraging, claim onto the promise of God that is found in his word and you will see him faithful in doing that which he has said he will do over your life. So the Lord bless you even as you keep gazing your eyes upon him, even as you keep waiting on him for that thing that you have waited for so long because he's faithful, because he can be relied on, because he's dependable and because he loves us and he wants us uh, he, he wants his word to lead us to the riches and fulfillment of this life. The Lord bless you.